I'm asking for the vote of every African-American citizen struggling in our country today who wants a different and much better future. It's time for our society to address some honest and very, very difficult truths. The Democratic Party has failed and betrayed the African-American community. Democratic crime policies, education policies, and economic policies have produced only more crime, more broken homes, and more poverty. The African-American community has been taken for granted for decades by the Democratic Party, and look how they're doing. It's time to break with the failures of the past. I want to offer Americans a new and much better future. It's time for rule by the people, not rule for the special interests which we have right now. So for some strange reason, whenever I make these Trump videos, people always get triggered. Now, I'm not getting paid by his campaign to speak good about him, nor am I getting paid by any other campaign to speak bad about the guy. There's going to be days where I say good things and days where I say bad things. And if you don't like what I got to say, go milk a cow. And actually, milking cows is not a bad thing. I would like to own a farm one day. But that's neither here nor there. You're probably looking at this video title thinking, well, I'm not black. This doesn't affect me. Well, trust me, it does. One reason why I can name is that blacks make up 50% of the violent crime that happens. So if there's any way to lessen any of that crime from either race, it affects you. I've always had the belief that it doesn't matter what race you are, if you're living in horrible conditions, there's a higher chance that crime is going to come out of your area. That's just what it is. The roles can be reversed with majority white people living in those situations. And trust me, crime will go up by that race. It's just what it is. Oh, and I also want to add this. I didn't vote for Trump, but this is the hand that I'm dealt. So I must play my hand. I'm not the kind of person that's going to sit back, moan, complain. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before Trump was elected. That's work hard and become the best that I can be. But anyway, let's talk about this. So Trump has decided to push out a brand new deal for the African-American community. And the name of it is called Urban Renewal. In this plan, there's a bunch of different things that I'm going to go over from business opportunities to more policing and things like that. We're going to go over that. Now, I don't know how this thing is going to turn out. We'll see how this thing goes. As you guys know, I have been against stop and frisk. I believe that is one of the things that Trump would like to implement. There was a total of 4.4 million stops between January 2004 until June 2012. And of these stops, 6% of the stops resulted in arrests. 88% of the stops resulted in no further action. In 83% of these cases, the person that was stopped was either black or Hispanic, even though the two groups accounted for just over half of the population. So let that sink in. That's why stop and frisk is unconstitutional. Not only to add, in only 1.5% of the stops, police found weapons on suspects. Anyway, so let's get into this. Um, Here's some of the things that Trump said he's going to do for the black community. Now, the number one thing on the list is education. And it says here, great education through school choice. We will allow every disadvantaged child in America to attend the public, private, charter, magnet, religious or homeschool of their choice. School choice is the great civic right issue of our time. Also, what they're going to be doing is they're going to ensure funding for historic black colleges and universities, more affordable two to four year colleges and support for trade and vocational education. Now, let's talk about this whole education thing before we move on. It says here that we will allow every disadvantaged child in America to attend the public, private, charter, magnet, or religious or homeschool of their choice. So does this mean that a kid that lives in Compton will be able to go to a school 
that's in Hollywood? Or will that kid in Hollywood be able to go to a school that's in Compton? Like, how does that work? I mean, it says here, it says here that every child in America will be able to attend the school of their choice. So if you live in an area where the teachers are just garbage, <laughs> you will be able to go to a school that has top of the line teachers. So that's definitely a good thing, man. I mean, learning should be equal all across board, meaning that any child in America should have the opportunity to learn. It's up to them or not whether or not they're going to waste time in the classroom. Moving on to the next thing, and this is something that I'm worried about, but also I want them to clean up crime, especially places like Chicago. If you're living in Chicago right now and you packing guns, selling drugs, you might want to get your act together, man, because them Trump boys about to come through and they about to clean the place up. And this is what it says here, man. Safe communities. We will make our communities safe again. Every poor African-American child must be able to walk down the street in peace. Safety is a civil right. I totally agree here. We will invest and trade in funding both local and federal law enforcement operations to remove the gang members, drug dealers, and criminal cartels from our neighborhoods. Reduction of crime is not merely a goal, but a necessity. I'm telling you, man, what I said before I read that. You better get your act together because it's about to get crazy. Now, like I told you guys. I'm again stop and frisk, especially when the stats show that 83% or whatever percent it was, it was in the 80s, 80 something percent of black and Latinos are stopped over the other races. You get what I'm saying here? You can't have that, especially when the neighborhood is equal and you're just picking out black and Latinos. Hey, you're black, you're Latino, get over here. I think you're up to something. It can't be that way. Now, that's when people in the comment section are going to say, well, Tom, like, it it wasn't, it isn't that way. Like, the, the cops aren't racist. Maybe they're not racist, but the stats show that there was prejudice because in the neighborhoods where all races were equally there, blacks and Latinos were searched more. The next thing is equal justice under law. I'm not going to go over this, but what I will say is this. Stats have shown that justice is not equal. A man can commit the same crime as a woman, and that man will be sentenced for far longer time. You can look at things like sex offenders. Women sex offenders are put on probation. Men are usually buried under the jail and raped. The same thing goes for a white man versus a black man that commit the same crime. A black man, by stats, show that he gets far longer time in jail for committing the same crime. Stats also show that blacks and whites smoke weed at the same rate, but blacks are far more prosecuted. There hasn't been equal justice, but all they can do is work on it, and I hope they can improve it. The next thing is tax reform and creating jobs to uplift people in the community. We will lower the business tax from 33% to 15% and bring thousands of new companies to our shores. I mean, that's good. It's all talk right now, but we'll see what happens. Financial reforms to expand the credit to support new job creation. The next one, trade that works for American workers. Protection from illegal immigration. Man, it seems that Trump is very serious about the whole illegal immigration thing. Now, this is one thing that's going to benefit people of all races that are poor or just middle class. Now, I talked about this in my other video. I felt that America created this beast on its own. America is the reason why we have this bad illegal immigration problem. Let me tell you guys why. Americans here have fed, have hired, have paid illegal immigrants to do their work for the longest time. I know we all know someone who has paid a illegal immigrant to do a job for a cheaper price. But guess what? Over time, it has caught up with us because guess what they did with that money? You paid them. They used that money to smuggle more people here. They used that money to... They use that money to pay for their bills, housing, food, 
We are our own worst enemy. I don't understand why these companies aren't penalized, aren't shut down. The law needs to be backed against these companies that hire illegal immigrants. They are the problem because without them having jobs, they wouldn't stay here. No one's going to come from a country where they can somewhat work to a country where they can't work at all. If you don't pay them, they wouldn't stay here. <laughs> like, what is it? And that's the thing, man. These companies are not taking accountability for their actions. Guess what these people did as well? You fed illegal immigrants. You gave them jobs. You supported them. But then you go vote for Trump so Trump can get them the hell up out of here. Now, the way I see it is whenever you go look at construction, right, for the majority part, it's a high percentage of illegal immigrants working out there. If he frees up a lot of those people, that's more jobs for people that are all different races that are here legally will be able to take those jobs. Here's what people don't understand. I understand Trump is saying he's going to bring back jobs, but you guys got to understand that we're in a different age. We're in an age where the robot is taking your jobs. <laughs> a lot of people don't want to think about that. You have been replaced by the robot. They don't have to pay these robots. These robots don't need a break. These robots work like slaves 24-7. And they're actually better than slaves because slaves get tired. Robots don't get tired. So you guys got to understand that in 20 years from now, a lot of these jobs that were brought here or even the jobs that we have now will be gone. They're already leaving. What you're most likely going to see is one person working about 20 robots. <laughs> you get what I'm saying here? The next thing is a new infrastructure investment plan. We will leverage public property partnership and private investments through tax incentives, a spur of one trillion in infrastructure investments over 10 years of which the inner cities will be a major beneficiary of. So that's pretty cool, man. I mean, hopefully I can get my hands on something that will help me start a business. You know, I have a few things in my mind. I'm looking to take advantage of anything that is for me. And I advise you guys to do the same thing. If there's some kind of plan that you guys can be a part of that's going to help you prosper in America, take advantage of it. Try to educate yourself on the new laws out there and benefits that are waiting for you at your feet. I think as of right now, Obama has some type of deal that's in place until January where it's something to do with housing. So if you're trying to buy a house or something, you may want to look into what it is. I don't know what the name it is, but it's like an Obama housing plan where you get a rebate or, you know, they, they help you get a house. Anyway, it's some type of loan, but I'm not too educated on it, but I will be very soon because I'm trying to buy me a house and also I, I do want to start a business. So I'm going to look into a, a lot of these different things that's going to benefit me. And, and I, I suggest that a lot of you guys that are, you know, at the age, uh, you definitely do so. Or even if you're very young, you may want to look into this, this thing where he says that child in America will be able to attend any school they want. You guys don't want to be at these horrible schools. Go to the best school that you can. You just got to be able to have a, a ride there. That's the only problem. Last but not least is the American first foreign policy. To pretty much sum it up, Trump is basically saying, look, we're going to stop helping a lot of these other countries out there and focus on putting America first and defending us. So he's about to pull a lot of troops from all these different countries out there that are not paying us for help. We're just sitting there helping them because we're allies. And he's going to force these dudes to pay. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It can be uh, considered either way because we do need allies. But then again, why are we defending people? I mean, can these people not defend themselves? Anyway, this is Thomas Live. You guys have a great day. I'm out. And yeah, just giving you guys the information that you need.